Unlike his wife, whose pitch-perfect smile has become even broader since the pregnancy was announced, poor Harry appears to be in danger of evaporating in a welter of growing anxiety. He seems to have inherited the trait of an open book face from his mother Diana and his expressions here suggest a man who is happily worrying for two right now. While Meghan sits confidently and elegantly, wearing an open-mouthed smile of genuine delight at the proceedings as she raises one hand to make a feature of her wedding ring and drop earrings, Harry sits with his torso bunched up in a self-diminishing gesture that suggests subliminal fear or worry staring away in a much more reflective mode and with a very weak smile revealing what looks like clenched teeth. His legs play signals new dad machismo and pride but the hard-shaped hand clasp looks nervous until Megan places her hand in his and rubs his arm in a gesture of reassurance. His face watching signals increased when they were out in the crowd and he sucked in his lips as he looked at his wife in another gesture of possible anxiety. It's easy to guess why Meghan's pregnancy might have resulted in these signals of high anxiety. With no mother to confide his worries in and a sister-in-law who has been incapacitated by sickness during her first months of pregnancy, despite the fact that Meghan looks glowing with health and confidence, it's likely that Harry is currently asking her if she's really really okay? Several times a day. You can actually see that question hanging in the air above his non-verbal displays. A few months ago his intense eye gaze rituals with Meghan would have looked flirty and sopily in love but here he has added a telling head tilt plus a more serious eye expression to turn a loving gaze into a genuine query. He was probably also under pressure here in more professional terms. The opening ceremony of the games had just been delayed by a storm and he had a big speech to deliver in front of the eyes of the world. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child, revealing the news just five months after their wedding in May. But what did the Queen give Harry just hours before the announcement was made public? Meghan Markle is pregnant, having released the news to the public early this week while on tour in Australia. Meghan and Harry revealed the next royal baby is on the way, destined for delivery in spring 2019. The royal baby was announced to the public via Kensington Palace on Monday to public celebration. Meghan and Harry revealed the news to other members of the royal family earlier the previous week, however. And Prince William and Kate, the Queen and Prince Philip, and his father Prince Charles were able to congratulate the happy couple at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. Before announcing it to the rest of the family, Harry first told his grandmother, the Queen. Her response to the news was to provide Harry with a treasured position at her side. Prince Harry has been named personal aide-de-camp by the Queen, which bestows some big responsibilities on the Prince. The official announcement came from the court circular, which read, The Queen has been pleased to appoint the Duke of Sussex as a personal aide-de-camp to Her Majesty with effect from 13 October, 2018. The personal aide-de-camp position is awarded by the Queen as an official military role. Only people who have served in the military as a senior officer can take the role. And the position is normally awarded to royal family members. Primarily an honorific position, as aide-de-camp Harry will be a representative for the Queen at certain events, including the state opening of Parliament. There are certain ways of dressing for the role when performing these duties which for Harry will be wearing a golden aiguillette, braided rope. Set over the right shoulder and chest of a military uniform, the rope is distinguishing for that role only. Those taking on the position will be permitted to use post-nominal letters after their name, as one might with a degree or certain accreditation, of ADC, P. Despite the announcement only being recent, people are already theorizing on future names. At the moment Harriet is trending according to bookmakers Ladbrokes. Harry's discussion about possible names while on tour in Australia prompted a flurry of bets forcing odd slashes from 66-1 to just 33-1. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Royal punters will look for any giveaways over the next few months and Harry's recent comments suggest his firstborn might just share a similar name with the prince himself.
Kensington Palace has confirmed the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. The announcement comes after months of speculation around the newlyweds, and following the Duchess' glowing appearance at Princess Eugenie's wedding. When will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have their first baby? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. While a due date has not been confirmed yet, speculation has it around late March or early April. It is rumored that the couple informed the royal family of Meghan's pregnancy at the wedding of Princess Eugenie. Before the royal wedding in May 2018, Meghan's father Thomas Markle broke traditional royal protocol to speak out and say that a child will be coming soon. Around the same time, Ladbrokes made it a 4-6 chance that the newlyweds make an announcement in 2018 they are expecting their first child. When did Harry and Meghan get married? The couple tied the knot on May 19, 2018, after a smitten Harry popped the question in London last year. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and was attended by A-list stars and watched around the world. Prince William was best man. And here is the full list of bridesmaids and page boys. The world has been awaiting the announcement of a Sussex baby eagerly. How did Harry and Meghan meet? Prince Harry and Meghan first met after being introduced by mutual pals but only announced they were together in November 2016. They were then spotted hand in hand for the first time while out on a date in London. At the time, Pals said actress Meghan had virtually moved into Harry's cottage at Kensington Palace with the couple having been inseparable for weeks. On May 6, 2017, Meghan made her first public appearance as a royal girlfriend when she proudly watched Prince Harry playing polo in Berkshire. Then in September, the pair were pictured together in Toronto as they attended the Invictus Games with Meghan's mum Doria. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton have their first child? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, a year and eight months after they were married at Westminster Abbey. The announcement had come earlier than is traditional as Catherine was admitted to hospital with hyperemesis gravidarum. Prince George was born on July 22, 2013. Their second child Princess Charlotte was born on May 2, 2015. Their youngest aunt, Prince Louis was born on St. George's Day, April 23rd. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa Small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, 
Something about Megan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Megan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. <laughs>